Today we got a new inverter from MFU ZOP. Let's open it up. We got cables. I wonder if these are legit copper. They got some weight to them, so they may be. Yep, they're copper. I can see the copper strands down inside there. Four gauge. Oh, and this one has a little remote. All right, and here's the inverter. It's a 2000 watt, 12 volt, pure sine wave inverter. And on this side, we've got our fans and our battery positive and negative. On this side, we have two 15 amp AC outputs. We got our jack for the remote control. We've got a USB type C and we've got a USB type A. So the unit feels uh, quite solid actually. This is, seems like a thicker gauge metal than what a lot of these inverters come with. So it feels very sturdy. Let's get this thing hooked up and we'll do some test. All right, so we have this thing hooked up to the Sunfun Kits battery. And so let's go ahead and turn it on. Ooh, fans are ramped up. So when you first turn it on, it gives you like a really long beep and then the fans ramp up. Sounds like probably to high and then they, they turn off. That might be to, to dislodge dust or something like that. I've noticed some equipment will ramp up the fans to high speed on startup and I think it has something to do with dislodging the dust in the blades, like some kind of self-cleaning. I could be wrong, but I think that's what it's for. All right, so let's take a look at the front here. All right, we're showing, okay. So we're showing battery voltage and then we're showing a zero. Maybe that's the wattage. And since we've got the app pulled up for the Sunfun Kits battery, we can see how much power it's using. And we can see here the idle current is about 20 watts. All right, so let's plug in some loads here. Let's start with the heater. All right. According to the battery, we're drawing 681 watts at the DC side. And yeah, so it's showing the watts here. It's showing 646 here. So let's crank the heater up. Let's just go to high. Uh, immediately the fans come on full blast. <laughs> And we're pulling 1,352 watts from the DC. And this thing is saying 1250 or 1240, 1242. So let's do the calculation here. We're showing 1357 there. And this is showing 1240. So we're getting 91.3% efficient. That's not bad at all. All right, so I wanna plug in the kilowatt meter. Oh, these things are upside down. So let's just flip the thing upside down. There we go. Now I want to see if the watts on this display matches the one on the unit. Okay, so we're showing 626 here, and we're showing 646 here. So it's actually a little bit off, uh, but not terribly far off. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug in the oscilloscope and see if we got a pure sine wave. All right, and we do have a pure sine wave. And that is with a load from the heater here. Let's, let's change the heater. Let's go to high on the heater and see what this looks like. Yeah, it stays the same. It actually stays very solid. So let's see if this thing will run my 12,000 BTU inverter AC. 
I would expect it should be able to, but let's see. Yeah, it's on, but we're still waiting for the compressor to turn on because we're only pulling 47 watts right now, so we'll give it some time. All right, so the compressor has finally come on. We've got three, well, 420 watts right now. It's ramping up slowly. That may be as far as it'll go, as far as power. It's not very hot. It's like 68 right now. <laughs> and this thing is not going to use a ton of power when it's not so hot outside. Let's go ahead and push it even further and run an AC and a heater. There we go. Fans are back on. Let's see, we're doing 11.34 watts. Let's go high. There we go. Now we're pulling 18.51 from the DC. Yep, so we got the heater on high, we got the AC on high, and it's doing it. So let's try this USB A port right here while we got everything running. See what we got. Yep, it works. Doing turbo power. Very nice. Now I wonder if the USB ports work if you have the inverter off. Some inverters still keep these ports on. So we're off. I think it's still working. Yep. So these USB ports stay on even when the inverter is switched off. All right, so I really want to push this thing to 2000 watts or more. So I'm going to install this so I can hook up some more things. All right, so now we got the heater, the heat gun, and a fan hooked up. Let's see how much we can push. All right, so the, the heater's on high. Let's turn the fan on. So fan's coming online. And then let's turn this on. All right, so it looks like we're showing 1856 and then we're showing over 2000 we're showing 2098 from the DC side I think we need to hook something else up how about a battery charger for my lawn tools at 2015 watts 2025 yeah there we go we're over it now and we're pulling 2353 watts from the DC 189 amps 2048 watts seems to be running everything fine all right so now i want to open this unit up and let's see what it looks like on the inside all right so i think we got all the screws removed let's see if we can open it no something's still holding I think there's screws underneath this sticker. Yep, there's one here. And then there's one over here, I can feel it. Yep, there it is. All right, let's try again. There we go. Okay, let's take a closer look here. We've got this big plastic shield. I think it was held in place by these little piece of plastic retainers. There's one right here. There we go. I kind of feel like that's to channel the air, you know, through these heat sinks right here. Oh yeah, look at here, we've got these big <laughs> chunky bus bars coming out from the terminals here that go to the board on both the positive and the negative. We've got a big row of fuses right here. <laughs> They'd have to be soldered to replace them. Yeah, I definitely don't see any anything that's messy or anything. It's looks pretty well done. All right guys, so I think that's gonna be the end of the video. Now just to let you guys know, I'm just testing this equipment. If you are to install this, 
in a permanent installation, you do need to fuse the cables properly. In my personal preference, I would use you know a thicker gauge wire just for my own peace of mind. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.